بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نحمده ونصلي على رسوله الكريم ما بعد my topic from last time was to mention the importance of khanqa and i mentioned the very basic formula the khanqa is a persian word and it means the dwelling place of a sufi this is where the sufi resides and then i also told you that it is analogous to a spiritual clinic just like we have a physical clinic we have a spiritual clinic that cleanses our heart and spirituality what else why do we need our hearts to be clean it talks about your heart have to be clean right why number one thing is that it opens the doors towards marifa among so many things when your heart is clean it opens the doors to the marifat of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala our heart is just like a mirror you might have seen those funny funky mirrors that if the mirror is curved you look curved in the mirror even though you're straight but it, there are some fat mirrors they have different filters they make you look old they make you look young so it is not the reality it is what the mirror makes you look like in the same way our heart is like a mirror and the nur of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is everywhere allahu nuru samawati wal ard so the allah's tajalliya the manifestation of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is on your heart it is showered on your heart depending on the quality of the mirror that you have if you have a good good mirror then the manifestation of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in your heart would be good and it would open the doors to the ma'rifat of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the recognition of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala just like dr faisal was mentioning that we learn the objects we learn the makhluq but what about the khaliq so learning about the khaliq is the ma'rifat of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and it is the next level of pleasure it is a very next level of pleasure and i would like to summarize the bayan of our hazrat ji in which he mentions the different stages of your life and he says there is a, i would not go into the details of the bayan there is a hawani zindagi and then the insani zindagi and the uh, imani zindagi and the arfani zindagi so you can listen to that bayan but i will very summarize that when the baby is born the newly born only focuses on food that's what gives him the most pleasure it's going to cry and when it gets the food it's content so the food is a means of content for a baby when he grows up 7 8 years old now he can sacrifice his food but he wants to go out and play that is a more next level of pleasure for him sometimes you would call your kid hey come you haven't eaten all day no i i want to play more he forgot about his food not to say that food is not important or not pleasing anymore but it's just that he he's into in a new stuff now the food is basic he grows older now at certain age the education is more pleasing he is reading the book he is reading his doing his education he is learning now some new skill sometimes he would skip his meal and sometimes he would skip his time to play outside because he is into new business now right when he grows older now he wants to get married when he goes get, wants to get married this desire to be with a woman get married to a woman have a family is amazing for that he can sacrifice everything else i have seen preparing people preparing for their marriages for years 2 saal taiyari karni hai shaadi ki see this is how important that becomes now the food is has its own pleasure being with the friends is with the pleasure school is a pleasure but now there's another shock another desire that has come to his heart being with a woman is beyond everything so he grows older after that then he has to rise above and embark into a new generation of the marifat when he gets the taste of what it is like to have the marifat of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he can he can sacrifice all the other pleasures for allah subhanahu wa ta'ala not to say that they do not have any pleasing effect it's just that he is ready to sacrifice just like he was sacrificing at different stages so these awliya allah would be skipping their meals they can skip their family time they can skip so many different things because that marifat of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is way too pleasing until you embark on that journey you wouldn't know and for that the cleansing of the heart the purification of the heart is very important and what this marifat can give you marifat is the seed 
to see Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on the day of judgment. That is why they say that people with the different levels of marifat, the different quality of seed would yield the different quality of the pleasure they would have in the Jannah when they view Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's amazing. That is why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is marifat is the, you know, that's the seed. And Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, Inna Allah yatajalla lin nasi ammatan wa li abi bakrin khasatan. He says that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala manifests himself for people in a general way. But for Abu Bakr Siddiq radiallahu anhu would be khasatan is a very particular way that Allah would manifest himself to, to Abu Bakr. Why? And Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa said his priority over the other sahaba is not based on the fasting and the salah and the ibadat they have performed. It is about the raz, the secrecy, the marifat that he has in his heart which is above everyone else's. So this marifat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not, is not something add on. This is a very intrinsic need that this is going to give you the pleasure, the level of the pleasure you're going to get in the Jannah would depend on the amount of marifat you have earned in this time. And that pleasure you cannot exceed. And that life is for and ever and ever. So why can't you make the good investment and be at the highest level? Why can't you have the, that level of marifat before you die? Because and this Hanka is not about getting into the Jannah. That is not it. This is not why we are here that we get into the Jannah. That's very basic. It is about Rabia Basriya rahimahumullah ta'ala saying that is my Allah not attracted enough that you worship him for his own sake? You desire him for him and not for the uh, desire of the Jannah and you do not disobey him for the, uh, for the fear of the Jahannam? My, my, is my Rabb not attracted enough by himself? So this is the level of Khanqa. Khanqa is a whole different journey that you seek Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and for them, these awliya Allah, this Jannah is just like a toy and the creator of the Jannah is what they seek for. So this is the marifat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and it is a next level of pleasing. Just like a person, a child cannot understand what it is, what pleasure it is to get married. They think, that ask a kid, no, I don't want to go to marriage because, you know, this is wedding is useless, I, you are just, it's so boring. Why? They don't know what it is. Ask the person who's getting married. For him, it's everything. So, just like the person who is on this journey of marifat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he knows what, sec what is the pleasure. His quality of life changes. So, the, reg the clean cleansing of the heart, the purification of the heart would open the doors to the marifat and the love Marifat will open the doors to the pleasure you're going to get in the Jannah and the pleasing life that you, ha you would have in this life. And again, this happens uh, in the light of the Sheikh, Sheikh Kamil. You know, I'll share you this one story. Why, why, the, uh, why the presence of the Sheikh is very important. How you cannot do it every, uh, everything yourself. There is a, sheikh, there is a, um, awliya, a wali of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. His name is Abu Tarab. Bakshi, rahimahullah ta'ala. And he lives in the time of Bayezid Mustami. You know, the, uh, his, uh, Bayezid Mustami, rahimahullah ta'ala, is the master of Allah. Everybody knows that. That Waliullah, they get the share of the marifat from Bayezid Mustami, rahimahullah. This is the level Allah had given him. So, this Shaykh Abu Turab Bakshi, he lives in the time of Bayezid Mustami and he tells to his murid, because he sees that eagerness and keenness to seek Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and he tells his murid, why don't you go and benefit from Bayezid Bustami? And he never listens. And he says, why don't you listen? Why don't you go in the presence of Bayezid Bustami? And he doesn't listen. At the third time he says, Shaykh, why do go, I go to Bayezid Bustami when I'm involved with the rub of Bayezid Bustami? When I see Bustami ke rub ko dekhta to Bayezid Bustami ko kyun dekhunga? Right? Apparently, it looks like a very good word. It's a very good stance, right? He says, no, you don't understand the complexity. You seeing with the, you getting involved with the rub or you seeing in the being in the presence of rub is not as uh, as beneficial to you as uh, seeing Bayezid Bustami. Seeing Bayezid Bustami is seventy times better than you seeing Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Who does not understand the reality of tasawwuf? That would be a, an element of kufr right there. 
اسے آپ بائزی بستامی کو دیکھیں یہ اللہ کو دیکھنے سے ستر گناہ تائم بہتر رہی ہے سیونٹی ٹائمز بہتر ہے اس سے یا شیخ وائی وائی ڈی سی سو اینی سی یو نو یو سی یو رب ویڈ یور اون ایبیلیٹیز آپ اپنی قوت کے مطابق آپ اپنے رب کو دیکھیں گے اور وین یو لک تھرو بائزی بستامی it is according to his position with his رب you seeing the universe with your naked eye is only going to take you so far but if you have a telescope you're going to go miles and miles away so that's the difference he's telling that you in the you seeing trying to see rub of uh, rub yourself i see that eagerness in you is a different level but you see it through baize bustami is going to take you far away and he says that he understood the lesson he understood the suggestion from his sheikh and he went to baize bustami he saw baize bustami and he passed away right away and Abu Turab Bakshi, he says, what happened? Is, this the, is it that much of a crime to see you that he needs to be killed? And Baizid Bustami says that your murid was murid a sadiq. He had a true desire to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and he had a raz, he had a secret portion inside of him that couldn't be fulfilled. He saw me, that got fulfilled and he could not, he could not bear the power and the level of that and he passed away. So this was his quality. So the in the presence of Shaykh, it's going to take you far away. That is why us getting connected with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you cannot do it on yourself. Even if you do it, it's going to be that basic level that you're going to do it with. When you get, it, get together with your Shaykh, inshallah, it's going to open the doors. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us tawfiq to understand the importance of Khanqa and attach us with this Khanqa in the presence of our Shaykh. Wa akhru da'wana alhamdulillah rabbil alameen.